we, we got to focus on you. You're going to be a daddy. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We're expecting you and Mariah. Okay, so how did you find out? How did your wife tell you she was expecting the baby? Uh... It was like I came home and it was like a pile of pregnancy tests in the bathroom, all saying yes. Like, oh. so she was just having a good time. <laughs> do you know the, the sex? Not yet. We don't. We, do you want to know? We're trying to wait. Everyone says that's one of the most amazing surprises that you yes. can have yeah. in life. So, because it's like, wow. Yeah. It is <laughs> but you know, we we like to plan, so we might. We're, we're holding out right now, but then they're talking about you know what color you're gonna paint the nursery and yeah, there's all, all that you stuff. You can decide so. all that later. That's true. Yeah. You know, I've known Mariah. I, you know how fond I am of her and how Absolutely. close I feel, I feel to you her. You guys have a wonderful relationship. Yes, we do. And, and I was so sad for her when you had a miscarriage. Yes. And that's tough to go through. So we rejoice yes. that, that this has happened. Well, thank you. Well, that was the thing, too, because when you're under such scrutiny mm -hmm. at, uh, from the media and you know, from the day that people found out that we were married, they were thinking, oh, it's a shotgun wedding and she's mm -hmm. pregnant. So even when we were pregnant the first time, uh, trying to hold on to it, and then when we lost the pregnancy that time, just even, it, it was just a, a, a weird gray period that yeah. you don't really know what to say or yeah. should you have told people or do you yeah. tell people. So this time, I was just like, you know, let's be positive, let's right. keep the faith, mm -hmm. and let's tell everyone early. And that's what yes. we did, yeah. and it's been Her beautiful thus far. Is a shotgun yeah. wedding anymore? That <laughs> seems yeah. like a throwback. You know, everybody's in a shotgun well, wedding. two months, right? You guys are dating two months, and you're about to celebrate like, third anniversary? Yes. That's amazing. Yes. It is. They How said we have... wasn't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> But now I wanna, I want you to clear something up because people, I don't think, realize that you actually are the chairman of the board of, of at, at Team, Team Nick. Nick. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. you actually, that it's not just a job title. You actually do the work. Yeah, yeah people thought it was a gimmick, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not usually sitting there doing that either. Uh, people thought it was a gimmick. I mean, we do a, a lot of promos and interstitial programming that I'm sitting in my office telling jokes. But I, yeah, I run the network. It's a day-to-day -day job, nine to five. Yeah. I'm in mm -hmm. for, uh, the 40th floor at 1515 Broadway, just sitting in my office making decisions. And so you, well, you call yourself an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Well, okay. Tell us what that is. I'm a businessman at heart. You know, or actually, I would say I'm a businessman in my mind and an entertainer in my heart. Because um, you have... A, people don't... We, Elizabeth and I love you in the movie Drumline. Oh you, oh, if you ever saw hey. Drumline, hey. Nick hey. Cannon was a star of Drumline. Yes. Did, you, did you play the drums in Drumline? You know what we had to do? That was about 10 years ago. I wish I could still oh, do that. So uh, but it was movies. about six hours every day for two months before we started shooting. Before you started shooting? Yeah, so I, got, I still have scars on my hands. I slept with drumsticks taped to my hands so I could be the best drummer at that wow. time. So when you say wow. entertainer, I want to say what that is because like Whoopi said, you, you rap. Yes. You are a comedian. Everybody knows you're doing stand-up comedy. You're yes. an actor. You had a show called Wildin' Out on MTV, which yeah. was one of the number one shows. <laughs> you, you have a media company. You host the number one uh, radio morning show. And you're the host of America's Got Talent. Yes. Wow. Time for when you, when you, <laughs> oh, that's my number one job. <laughs>